Uh, yeah, right now we're just talking about our end of the year party we're throwing. You're welcome to come if Mr. Chad Keel wants to come along too. Yeah. But we are going to, I was telling Dino over here, our young Padawan, that we need to really prove that we're a YouTube channel that lays the pipe. Right. And therefore yeah. we need a lot of good looking ladies. Dino, what are, you, are you going to do your part or are you inviting your girlfriend there? Yeah, I can invite her. What day no, is No, we you? don't want or your actually... girlfriend. We don't want that. Oh, shit. All right, we yeah. want you to bring random chicks your age. That just seems to happen everywhere I go. They just, like, follow me in places. Mm. Uh-huh. Is uh -huh. there any way you can recruit some girls to this party? I mean, where would you start? I mean, is there a, a kind of a maybe a, a comic book store by your house that you could attend? I would start by unzipping my pants, and mm. then they would line up. No. Oh, okay. It's probably, actually, if it's the right kind of girl, he does have a large penis, it's possible. But, Dino, honestly, man, we need you to get to work. Okay, I think this is, we tried to get off the ground the idea of TikTok Dino once. We wanted him to sincerely just dance on TikTok. He's got a nice skinny physique. He's, if he shaves his facial hair and uses shampoo, he's actually quite attractive. He is. If we get that going, you set up a really nice hinge profile, we <laughs> can get, I think, by this weekend, three group girls from Dino. I mean, it would be great. I mean, you gotta you gotta kind of uh, amp up kind of what's gonna go down at this party. You can't just say, "Hey, this guy Mudflap's gonna be there." For example, you kind of don't open with that, right? I mean, you yeah, can't open. Y'all have to like leech off all my clout and my swagger. If you send him a picture of Swolby, for example, try only for the face. I mean, the kid's got a good face, he's got nice light eyes, and he's got good hair. You know what I mean? Don't tell him. What size yeah, yeah. he is in height or anything like that. You know what I mean? Tell you know? him, all love to Swolby. If you send him a photo of Swolby, tell him it was a selfie taken in a funhouse mirror. <laughs> yeah, I'll, we'll have to take a picture of him next to like a clown car or some shit. <laughs> Swolby, I love you, buddy. I love, I love you it's too, Swolby. It's okay, Swolby. it's okay. But what we're saying is, Dino, say there's going to be a tiger there. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Baby tiger. Don't let's mention. Go, okay, let's go baby tiger. It's not alarming. You know what I mean? That you can cuddle up with it. It's harmless for the most part. What do you think about that, Dino? Baby tiger fleshlight? I don't oh know. Oh, my God. What? Why do you have to make everything into a foul, sick little sexual What fantasy? else am I going to do with a baby tiger? Well, you say girls like baby tigers because they can pet them. Yeah. If I had a baby tiger, that'd be pretty well, sick. You lie, Dino. You oh, lie. Oh, shit. So we say, here's how it's going to go. Say we have an exclusive suite, because I used to work at the Wynn Encore in Las Vegas, the leading property in Sin City. We toured on the first day there that I got hired when they were doing the onboarding. We toured one of the high roller suites, the high roller suites that are reserved for Chinese oligarchs. Hmm. I'm talking $100,000 a night with Where was an this? elevator. This was at the Wynn Encore, baby. Wow. Or it was at... I think it was at the Encore. Okay. There are two identical And it buildings. was it was how much a night? Do you remember what it was? I Leo, I just said what a hundred oh, grand a night. A hundred grand a night? Yeah. Wow. A hundred grand a night. And they had personal blackjack tables in there so that these fucking guys, after doing, I don't know, God knows what, carving up a small country mm. and uh, rigging an election, whatever they're doing. They go in there and they're just playing blackjack privately in their hundred thousand dollar a night suite. Jesus. And who knows how much they're dropping on that table. I, we uh, tell we're that's where we're partying. That's the point right. I'm getting at. We're partying at one of those suites and there's a fucking tiger. And then you tell the Chinese woman, like, yo, I got a baby tiger. That shit's like exotic teriyaki. Jesus Christ, you know. I'm confused. Do you know? First of all, the idea that's how you get the Chinese woman. You no, tell we're not you got a baby tiger. We're not telling the Chinese blackjack dealer that we have a baby tiger. Yeah. Okay, we're not actually staying in the suite. I know you're having trouble following this. We need you to tell the girls on Hinge about the baby tiger. I get right. what you did. You're saying that Chinese people eat animals that Westerners don't. I can don't switch eat. my language to Chinese only on Hinge, and then say I got by baby tiger. You know, I got something. Listen, uh, you're decent. Yeah, on the this computer. Guy, this guy, Reza. Photoshop, stuff like that. I want you to make a flyer with a really cute baby tiger on it. Yeah. And once you get these girls on Hinge, you get their number, you text them that you mass text this flyer, mm -hmm. with the address to the party, which mm -hmm. will be given to you in the future. It's uh, 3000 Paradise Boulevard. Mm -hmm. I believe that's the address of the win. And uh, hopefully you'll hit, but please do not... Please do not mention your political affiliations at all, or or, no. or basically anything. I feel like I could save a lot of time if I just had a duffel bag and some blow darts. 
Oh my God. What does that mean? As you're going to incapacitate the woman or the tiger? I can do both. What do you mean? Explain that joke to us. Or I'm not well, even sure. Like, if it was why a joke. do I need to like go on hinge and do all this baby tiger shit? Okay, he's gonna incapacitate the women. So you're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna get a disguise. Maybe you're gonna hide like in a bush or something, and, and, and like a, like a native per se, and come out and and hit it hit their neck right. Hopefully, that's I'm well that trained. The spot? I'm pretty used to doing it. It's pretty easy. Oh, honestly, what is this might be a good question for our guest. What would be the best thing to dip a dart in so that it could inca incapacitate yeah, a human? Reza, you might know that. Yeah. Mm. Right up to the mic, Reza, also. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, there's different plants that you could put in water, and then Ooh. if you dip it in there, it will. there's a compound mm. in the plant, and it poisons the blood. Mm. Yeah, like well, poison, poison ivy. Blood. I'll get them with the poison ivy poison dart. Ivy. Reza, They're what do you think done. about this? My father is a retired judge and he used to tell me stories of the county jail and even some of the darker prisons in California. A common move was you roll up a newspaper into a spear. You roll it up real sharp and then you pee on it. You leave it in the windowsill of your cell, let it dry out in the sun, calcify, and then a week later you pee on it again. And you just keep doing this until it turns into a rock hard spike. Wow. Next, because just something sharp isn't good enough. You start dipping the tip in the toilet after you take a big doo-doo. That way, you get your own human waste on the end, and it becomes a poisonous barb. Dino, is this a technique you'd be willing to employ? That is genius. Honestly, mm -hmm. I can't think of much things that are better. Like, if you only have a toilet, if you only have a newspaper on hand, you got to do what you got to do to, like, reinforce your weapon, get an mm. upgrade. Dino, I remember you making some prison... Uh, wine. Yeah, I did make What's that wine. called? It's Pruno. It's Pruno. Now, you had yeah. no problem giving that to people on the old Vegas Strip. No problem. Day. Well, one of the guys I gave it to was an ex-felon who used to drink Pruno. Mm. To be fair, I don't think I let it sit long enough to become very strong. Mm. I think I was... The minimum amount of days you need to let it sit, I think I let it sit a day shorter than that. So it was just starting to turn alcoholic. People get sick from this... Um, Pruno? Um, probably. Yeah, I think I've heard they've gotten sick from it. My girlfriend's cousin, Body Cowboy, who we've actually spoken to on this podcast, he recently did a stint in county jail, and uh, he made very good friends with the Pruno guy, so maybe he's the guy we should ask about this. Yeah. He, you, what would he go to jail for? I think he beat the shit out of somebody. Jesus. Do How'd you, know, you make Pruno? I made Pruno. You can find the instructions anywhere. It's really quite simple. It's a bunch of oranges crushed up, and you put it all in a Ziploc bag. For some reason, that's always the vessel you make it in. Oranges, sugar cubes, and ketchup. Those are the ingredients I remember. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's basically it. Ugh. Oranges and ketchup, that sounds... Sounds disgusting. disgusting. Ketchup, yeah. ketchup yeah. or vinegar, I guess? But uh, just to reiterate here, Dino, that? you are convinced that all you'll need is blow darts or calcified newspaper spikes to get women to our party. Yeah, I mean, or just like a rope, or like a rock, or like... Old school. Pretty much anything. You gotta be resourceful these days. Uh -huh. You always gotta be prime and ready in a moment's notice, because uh -huh. you don't want that chance to slip you up. I remember uh -huh. Reza telling me that throwing rocks is an effective way to catch some food in the wild, right? I mean, is that still true? Yeah, totally. I mean, or a stick. Uh, or a stick. I mean, a stick is one of the most effective weapons, like a rabbit yeah. stick, just a simple stick mm -hmm. that you have. You can throw that hard enough to break a deer's leg, or if you throw that at someone's head, wow. you're going to you wow. take them out. Do you know? Well, there you go. You got your technique. I don't know if you're aware of how strict the laws are for transporting an unconscious co-ed across state lines. They're pretty bad. Do you know, uh, listen, jail time for you, I think that you're... Best move would once again what we told uh, another one of our uh, associates here to to use, but please claim to be a woman if you are arrested yep, because absolutely. Dino, if you go to jail, buddy, I'm gonna have a fun time in women's jail. And for in women's jail, maybe yeah, sure. Yeah, in women's jail, you'll have a great time. Yeah, Dino, it's so true. You got to be like the Colorado shooter, non-binary instantly, at least, preferably go she her. Just yeah. go she her, dude. Yeah, it's definitely the safe bet.